Assalamualaikum. My name is Hiranwar and I am teaching Lovian Rehabilitation and Geriatrics in the Department of Optometry and VN Sciences, Faculty of Allied Health Sciences in University of Lahore. Today we are going to talk about Braille. The introduction of Braille, what is it, what does it mean to the blind person who invented Braille, how to remember Braille characteristics and patterns, and how to read Braille. So first, what is Braille? Braille is just not a language, it's a code by which many languages can be read and written. This is Braille, and Braille is based on number of dots, small enough to fit under the tip of your finger. If you can see in this picture, this is Braille, and it is based on number of raised dots. These are raised dots and they are small enough to fit under the tip of your finger. So Braille is a form of written language for blind people in which characters are represented by patterns of raised dots that are felt with the finger tips. So now you can know what is Braille. What does it mean to the blind person a visually impaired person? A lot of people all around the world really rely on Braille and they are being able to be independent and to do their jobs on their own by using Braille. So Braille is used by thousands of people all over the world in their narrative languages and provide a mean of literacy for all. Braille was invented by Louis Braille and he was a Frenchman who lost his vision as a result of childhood accident. So he used different codes and form a braille pattern. This is braille and there are three grades of braille, braille grade one, grade two and grade three. Today we are going to talk about braille grade one. This is braille grade one and braille grade one is the one where everything spelled out as letters and there is nothing that is constructed or short and Braille grade one also consists of numbers and it also consists of different punctuations as well. So this is Braille cell. Each letter like A, B, C, D, they are formed by specific patterns known as Braille cell. So this is Braille cell and it consists of six dots, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are two rows and two columns and three rows. Um, if you can see in this picture, um, dot one, two, three are on the left side of the braille cell and dot four, five, six are on the right side of the braille cell. So it consists of two columns and three rows with six raised dots. There are 64 combination are possible using one or more of these six dots and a single cell can be used to represent an alphabet, a letter, a number, a punctuation mark, and even a whole word. Again, this is Braille cell. And uh, Braille cell, in this Braille cell, there are six dots, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are three patterns in Braille, A to J, K to T, and U to Z. Pattern A to J, K to T, and U to Z. If you can remember a pattern from A to J, it will help you learn the rest. So um, keep focus on that. If you can remember a pattern from A to J, it will help you learn the rest. So A to J pattern is the base of all the letters, all the characters of the alphabets. So uh, the remaining of the alphabets, like the letters from K to T are in corresponding and order of A to J and U to Z are in corresponding letters and order excluding W. W is the exception uh, to the rest of the alphabets. These are the alphabets in Braille from A to Z. There are three patterns I told you. If you can remember from A to J, you can remember from K to T and U to Z, excluding W. So in pattern from A to J, 
you should remember one thing that only four dots are going to be raised in pattern A to J. Only top four dots. These two and these two. Only these are going to raised. In pattern K to T, K to T pattern is corresponding an order to A to J. And in this pattern, three letter is added to the pattern of A to J. So if you can remember a basic pattern from A to J, it will help you learn the rest as I told you. So A to J pattern, in this pattern, you have to remember that only four dots are going to be raised. And in pattern K to D, those four dots in corresponding and three letter or three dot added to the that pattern. In last pattern, U to Z, excluding W, all the letters are corresponding, but three and six dot added to the pattern. So first one, only top four dots. Second one, top four dots and plus three dot added to it. And in last one, three and six dot added to the above pattern. And W is the exclusion. And in the keys of Ws are two, four, five, and six. And you have to remember that. So next, how to remember the break? In this way, key one is raised. In this way, key two is raised. In this way, one and four is raised. So you have to remember that. I have to tell you a story, a simple story to remember this. So write down that story and I have also added some pictures as well and I have also written the names as well which I'm going to tell you to highlight these words. So first we have to write the story then we come to this. One day you want to cross a river. You approached a bridge but it's closed. You take the detour but now you are on empty. You fill up a fuel and now you are on gridlock. You change your car for Harley, turn the ignition on and jump over the lever. Now highlight some words. Approach, a bridge, closed, detour, empty, fuel, gridlock, Harley, ignition and jump. This way, approach, bridge, closed, detour, empty, fuel, gridlock, Parley, ignition, and jump. You have to remember a story first, then these words, and then you have to remember these pictures as well. They will resemble the patterns of the break. This is the image of approach. This is the image of bridge, a closed, detour, empty, fuel, gridlock, Harley, ignition, and jump. So now you have to raise some dots according to these words in the braille pattern A to J. I told you that only four dots are going to be raised from pattern A to J. So the picture of approach is this way. So you are approaching something. So you have to raise only one character, one dot of the braille, which is braille, uh, one. So you have to raise this. So this is the key of a. Then you have to remember the picture, the image of bridge, and then you have to raise the dots according to that image. In this way, you have to raise the uh, dot one and dot two. This is the image of closed, and you have to raise dot according to this image. In this way, dot one and dot four are going to be raised. Why this is four? As I told you before, that in braille cell, one to three are on the left side and four to five are on the right side. So this way, dot one and dot four is going to be raised. Next is detour. In this way, this is the image of a detour. So you have to raise dot according to the image. So in this way, dot one, dot four, and dot five are going to be raised. This is the key of D. Next, this is the image of empty. You have to raise dot according to 
this image and this way dot one and dot five are going to be raised and this is the key of e next is fuel f this way and you have to raise dot one dot two and dot four this is grid log in grid log four dot are going to be raised one two four and five because a to j pattern consists of above four dot top four dot that's why we are going to raise dot one dot two dot four and dot five and this is going to be the key of g g is written in this way in the braille next is harley this is the image of harley and you are going to raise dot according to the image so dot one dot two and dot five are going to be raised and this became h next is ignition this is the image of ignition so you have to raise dots two and four and the last one is jump jump is imaged as this way so you have to raise the dots of two four and six so as i told you before if you can remember pattern from a to j they are the base of all the alphabets in the braille or um, abc so it will help you learn the rest so in the next one what you have to do you have to raise just one dot which is three dot added to the above pattern k to t is corresponding and in order with dot three added to it this way so k is an a with three dot added to it b is l with three dot or third dot added to it c is m with third dot added to it and the last pattern is u to z excluding w so u to z is corresponding and order to the a to j with dot 3 and dot 6 added to it so u is an a with dot 3 and dot 6 added to it v is an b with dot 3 and 6 added to it x y z is corresponding to the m n and o w is the exclusion so how to read letter you have an activity you can solve this now this is pattern dot one dot two and dot four is raised so this is f in this way dot one two three and five is raised so this became r in this dot one and dot five is raised which is e amputee and this is again dot one and dot five which makes e so this is the uh, word three so this is how you pronounce different words in braille and there are special keys in braille for capital letter for small letter for numbers and w's exclusion as well for capital letter dot six is going to be raised for small letter dot five and six are going to be raised and for number dot four five six and three is going to be raised so if this is a word written in braille and this one s is capital one p e s i c i a l are in the small alphabet so how uh, the blind person can see this because he has no vision he can touch or feel with raised dots so before s there will be capital letter key then letter s key so in this way patient can feel that it is the capital letter so 
the next one there is a small letter so in this way small letter key is placed first before the p and then p e c i a l are going to be written so for capital letter there is special key and for small letter there is special key as well all the numbers must be preceded by number signs as well uh, the pattern um, a to j is the base of all the letters and numbers as well uh, so uh, this key uh, the 3 4 5 and 6 this is the number sign if this is placed before any alphabet this is pronounced as number so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 zero are same patterns as a b c to j if this number sign is placed before 1 now it is pronounced as 1 not a 1 is a. same as a 2 is same as b 3 is same as uh, c and 0 is same as j so if this key is placed before the letter a key it is read as a or 1 if this is placed before 1 it is uh, read as 1 um, and if it is placed as if uh, is not placed so it is pronounced as a these are the punctuation sign punctuations are uh, same pattern or So A to J. Uh, the only difference is that in this one, the uh, bottom four uh, dots are going to be raised, not the top four dots are going to be raised. Grade one Braille is uh, consists of a letter by letter transcription used for basic literacy. Grade two is an addition of abbreviation and contraction, and grade three is various non-standardized personal stenography. There are different kinds of braille for blind person and visually impaired person. Perkins braille, slate, stylus, electronic braille, braille writer, braille computer keyboard, braille graphic printer. These are some examples uh, which can be uh, given to the blind person or visually impaired person in rehabilitation therapy. Uh, this is braille keyboard. You can see raised dots on the keys. this is a typewriter or a braille typewriter for communication and uh, writing uh, this is manipulative tactile aids they are used in learning mathematics sciences and social studies for students uh, this is the beautiful picture uh, this is an italian blue point uh, has a reeling description in braille so that blind person and severely visually impaired person can also enjoy the view as well Uh, these are the braille signs uh, placed on the lift in the building uh, these are perkins braille and uh, this is the stylus to create the braille so this was all about braille the less we can see with our eyes the more we can see with our heart thank you so much